Hey, Derek, appreciate your time. I, I guess right out of the gate for me, just what it mean to you to be elected captain by your teammates. And I, I imagine for you, it's just kind of keep doing what you're doing. Is that your approach? Oh, yeah, exactly. Um, nothing better than uh, getting that respect from your peers, your teammates. You know, that's what means the most to me, me being voted the captain. Very appreciative, very appreciative of them uh, voting me a captain. And um, just got to do my job of leading. Uh, Teresa? Derek, uh, how much are, or how eager are you maybe to get back to Denver considering the, the, the way the offense struggled last year in that game they are being shut out and it was not, you know, it wasn't one of your best games as well. The, the offense didn't do much. Is that something that you get, a, you like and look forward to having this chance to, to go back there again? I'm uh, really not really dwelling on last year. Uh, we know what type of game, you know, it was last year. Um, and move on from that and, um, prepared for this week um, and uh, ready to travel to Denver, play against, uh, play against a good team, um, good defense, physical team, very sound team, and um, you know, just compete this week, bring that intensity in all phases, and um, just make sure that we're ready to go when it comes Monday night. Uh, Trump? Yeah, Derek, I asked Justin Simmons about your stiff arm, and he said it's literally the best in the business. When was the first time you remember like, having that as a, a part of your, your arsenal? Uh, I've been doing this since a kid, I've been, since I've been playing football. I think it just came natural to me because you know, I have long arms. So that's the first thing you know, I use to uh, break a tackle or, or get away from another defender. So I've been doing this since a kid. And then with that coming naturally, you, you Coach uh, Vrabel and, and Coach Dews, they incorporated the helmet on a stick. Do you remember when they, they first uh, presented that idea to you, and, and how did you receive it? Um, I, think, I think it was something, um, it was like last year. Uh, I mean, they just, you know, I love using the stiff arm, so they just uh, brought that in to, you know, help me practice throughout the week, you know, and I'm uh, improving on it and, you know, just helping me get better at it. That's just what it's all about, just me getting better at the things that I'm good at. Uh, hey, Derek, I, I know it's kind of a common theme to not want to dwell on things that happened last season, but I'm wondering if after that Denver game, when things kind of started to turn around for you guys offensively, what you noticed about the five guys in front of you, the offensive line, how that kind of – how that started to turn around after Denver and into kind of the second half of that Carolina game when you really started to get going. Um, I just think the play speaks for itself. Um, and, you know, how we play together and our results. So, I mean, you know, I think that's put and put right there about, you know, how we finish the season, you know, after, you know, Denver game, Carolina and all those type of games. I think those five guys did a little job. Uh, Corey? Hey, Derek, I think Jarrell's – Locker wasn't too far from you. How how much are you looking forward to seeing 99 back in the field? And how much do you have to prepare for his quick penetration? Um, yeah, I mean, Jarrell's like a uh, brother to me. And, um, you know, uh, he's a disruptive player. I think we all know what type of player he is. And um, you definitely got to prepare for him. And I'm um, excited to go against him on, on Monday night. Uh, Paul? Hey, Derek, uh, good talking to you. Kevin Byard mentioned uh, that Eddie George banner still hanging from, from Nissan Stadium. I, I know you've become friends with Ed. What's a legacy mean like that to a player in the long haul? Like that's a guy you look up to. And w w you want to leave a mark like he did on the organization ultimately? <laughs> I mean, I think that's – yeah, I think any player who plays for organization wants to leave their own mark as far as how they played on the field and the type of play they were. And um, that's the type of player Eddie was. He's a great player for his organization, did a lot of great things for his organization. And, um, and he should be recognized like the way the Titans do. And, um, that's every player who plays an organization dream to always have that effect and, you know, have a great impact, you know, by the way you play, even, even when you're done playing. So. Thanks very much. Uh, Chris Harris. 
Hey, Derek, I was just curious as to your thoughts on uh, the team getting Jadavian Clowney and then specifically since, you know, in, in the past, maybe in some offensive meetings that you guys have had to game plan for against him, uh, knowing that he can be such a disruptor. What was your question? Yeah, just your, ex your excitement to get him, knowing what he can bring defensively since you guys have kind of seen that firsthand and had to plan against him. Yeah, definitely. I mean, he's a game wrecker, um, hell of a player, and um, definitely glad he's on our side and um, you know helping us you know, as a team. So excited to have him. I can't wait to get the season started to see how he does. Uh, John Glenn. Hey, Derek. Yeah, I'm, I'm probably along the same lines there as Chris. Just uh, when you think back to, to playing against Jadevian uh, over the years, um, you know, maybe what, what specifically stands out about the way he plays and, and kind of how do you evaluate his, his game? Um, you know, he's a, a game breaker. Um, you know, he can, ch he can change the home of the game by, you know, his play. His account, he's a big guy. He's an impact player. Um, you know, and um, somebody you definitely have the game plan for. Like, like I said, and we played him. We have had a game plan for him. So, you know, um, it's exciting that he's on our team now and um, being able to help us win games. Thanks. A few more left. Uh, Terry? Derek, uh, what stands out to you about the Broncos' defense? And also, how much does it kind of stick in your craw, you guys on offense, when you, when you were shut out last year? How much does that kind of stick with you and make you want to atone for it? Um, they're a very sound defense. They're very fun, very fun, very fundamental in what they do. Um, they stick to what they do. They just play good defense. They're very physical. Um, I feel like they're very physical on all from the line to the linebackers and um, in the back end as well. So, you know, um, very sound defense, very physical. It's going to be a physical matchup on Monday night. And I'm um, excited to get back to football, get back to playing. Uh, Terrell? Yeah, just to get back on that stiff arm real quick. Uh, coming up, uh, were there any particular players that you watched that, you know, you saw that stiff arm uh, being utilized? No, it wasn't. It's just something that I've done naturally. Got it. Thank you. Uh, Jim? Hey, Derek, and you just kind of touched <clears throat> touched on with Terry's answer. But, but just your excitement level as a new season begins. It's been a long time since January – What's your excitement level and what's this team's mindset at the start of another season? Um, yeah, I mean, just excited that football's back. Like you said, it's been a long time coming. Um, you know, we love this game. We love playing this game. And, you know, going out there against another opponent, you know, you know trying to win a game with your, with your teammates, your brothers. You know, just excited to have the season, man. And uh, I, I guess going out for me, I saw your spot on Special Olympics, I guess, yesterday. Why is it so important to be involved with that organization? And really, where did that kind of uh, where did that kind of begin for you? Um, you know, I have a real relationship with them um, when they were you know, I held that night when they were able to uh, design my cleats for me uh, two years ago. And um, just been keeping my relationship with them ever since then. And um, anytime they need me to help out or anything like that for them, always be here, so. Uh, last one, Cal. Uh, Derek, um, we saw, we've seen you in the ESPN spot with uh, lip syncing Celine Dion. How would you grade your lip syncing skills with Celine Dion and how did that come about? I um, thought they're pretty good. Uh, uh, they reached out, asked me if I wanted to be in it and um, I uh, agreed to it and tried to do my best impersonation of me singing Celine Dion. So hopefully everybody likes it. I understood you're, you you kind of like the acting. You kind of have an acting bug. That Does that kind of give you a little bit of that? Um, I guess so. If, I mean, me singing a song, that helps, then I'm all for it.